A car that runs on air. Almost too good to be true in these days of high fuel prices. But this is the prototype for a cheap and green runaround of the future. This is liquid air made by cooling atmospheric gas to around minus 190 degrees centigrade. Now sealing the tank up to build up some pressure. Stored in a tank and then rapidly expanded into a high pressure gas through these pipes, there's enough energy to power a piston engine. The inventor says it's more practical than an electric car and it's now being refined by an engineering firm. I've probably done about 35 miles an hour is probably the top speed I've had it at. It would go faster, but I haven't actually taken it on the open road, so I've been a bit limited uh, for uh, space. Well, you've got the convenience of a petrol engine in that you can refill it quickly. Liquid air could also help to keep the lights on. This pilot plant near Slough uses up excess electricity from power stations and wind farms when consumer demand is low, cooling air into its liquid form. When households need the power, the liquid is turned back into a gas that spins a turbine. It's cheap energy storage that could reduce the need for so many power stations. The trouble with batteries is they're best suited to relatively small applications like your laptop. And uh, what we're talking about here is the nation's national electricity grid, which requires very large amounts of electricity to be stored. And there are relatively few ways of doing that. And we think with liquid air, we found one of the few technologies that's truly scalable to uh, grid scale usage. The Institution of Mechanical Engineers is so taken with the liquid air technology, it's organized a meeting to drive it forward. Energy storage is big business. The industry is worth billions of pounds worldwide and it employs hundreds of thousands of people. Liquid air is a new idea, something that British engineering could sell to the rest of the world. That's good for the economy, but it could also reduce our fuel prices in future. What began with one man tinkering in his garage could lead to a green fuel for the future. Thomas Moore, Sky News.